intelligence. You know, we, we need we need to know if you know Israel is building nuclear weapons. Uh, we need to know if Iran is building nuclear weapons. North Korea? Oh, too late. Right. You know, we, we need to know things like that. So I, you know, I, I, I understand that, it, you know, in, in, in the real world, uh, you know, we need to acquire uh, some intelligence on potential enemies. Uh, no doubt about it. How about in the, uh, the chat room there? What do you guys feel about um, WikiLeaks uh, releasing this information? Uh, you can let us know. Um, okay, uh, we're already about 46 after. Uh, maybe we should go on to TSA because we could probably talk several more hours on this, I guess. Yeah. Well, you know, and, and you know, uh, the, the TSA thing has, I think, more of a, uh, uh, a technology angle to it, too. Cause, I mean, yeah, we're yeah, as well. Talking, yeah. We're actually talking black boxes and widgets and gizmos. And uh, now, of course, uh, now TSA's uh, uh, now it's been it's been a while since I've been through the airport uh, and I don't know how much they implemented these new scanners. But I guess do they give you like a, a choice, either go through the scanner or get searched? Is that what it is right now? Or yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's, it, it's real. It's real cool. You, you, you get a uh, you get a choice between shit and manure. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's um, uh, it, it, it's kind of it's kind of amusing in a way, uh, you know. It, here again, you know, I I think the Ameri the, the American population has been sitting on the couch watching TV and drinking beer so long, you know, they they they've forgotten. You know, we we have this thing called the Bill of Rights, and uh, you know, contained in the Bill of Rights, the Fourth Amendment to the U.S. Constitution has this thing about you know unreasonable search and seizure. Now, if, 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 if when you were buying your airline ticket, the clerk looked at you and smiled real pretty and said, oh, yes, sir. And as a condition of us providing you a, a cartridge on our airplane, we are going to strip search you and investigate your cavities. How many tickets do you think they'd sell? Well, if it was by an exploit playboy or something like that, I'd probably do it. How about yourself? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but it, 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 if we, you know, if we if we wrap it in a in a in techno mumbo jumbo, and we decide we're going to do a virtual strip search on you, uh, you're supposed to be obliging of that. And suppose the technology uh, that they were using to perform this virtual strip search on you. Uh, suppose it was using uh, a millimeter size of uh, RF, millimeter wavelength RF, or potentially even uh, X-ray radiation, uh, you know, both of which are, are known carcinogens, known to be harmful. Uh, so, you know, you, you get your choice between going through the, uh, uh, the easy bake oven uh, <laughs> or, the, or, the, wow. or, or the microwave, uh, or, or, you know, if you're, you know, <laughs> Kind of like me, and there ain't no way you're going to get into that box and have yourself freaking irradiated. Uh, if you decide not to do that, well, you have another choice. This uh, fat butch dyke over here is going to, you know, bend you over the counter and, uh, you know, uh, put on the rubber gloves. Now, you know, uh, yeah, I, I referred to it as a, a choice between shit and manure. I mean, think about it. I mean, those are your choices. This is what we are reduced to. And at what point? did a search with no justification become American? When did that happen? Uh, I mean, there's, you know, unreasonable search and seizure. Now, what that means is there has to be a search warrant signed by a judge. Uh, whoever is getting that warrant sworn out has to attest that they have probable cause to search you. Uh, you know, I mean, there, there's a whole list of qualifiers here. I mean, the, the, the purpose of the Constitution was to rein in government power to clearly define those areas of authority where the government can act. Uh, the Constitution was designed to protect us from the biggest bully on the block, the government. Uh, we have forgotten our Fourth Amendment rights uh, you know, these are not privileges. These are rights. <laughs> and when you willingly give up your rights, what have you become? 
Now, on the uh, the scanner, now, I was watching, it's probably several weeks ago, I was watching uh, the Tech Buzz with Steve, Steve Haywood, and uh, he said that his wife he did, a lot, did a lot of background research on the 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 scanner and from what she said it uh the supposedly it uses uh less power than a uh cell phone now I, yeah, that, I'm that just, is the propaganda that the uh, uh it, that is the propaganda that the tsa and the manufacturer of the device is putting out yeah i'm not correct. saying that's yeah. accurate or anything you know yeah, do your own I've research heard. on that so uh but uh, the, the other one i've heard is that uh, uh your exposure in one of these uh, uh microwave ovens uh, is uh is about the equivalent of uh 15 minutes flying time at thirty thousand feet well you know that both of those are bunk that's uh absolute propaganda uh the material that's come out from the american <laughs> medical association says the devices that are being used by tsa would not be permitted for diagnostic use in a hospital because the amount of exposure is obscene. Absolutely obscene. Um, and the effect is cumulative. Uh, when you start talking about millimeter wavelength uh, RF and X-ray radiation, backscatter X-ray radiation, the effect that this type of exposure has on human tissue is cumulative. So, you know, God help the frequent flyers. And, you know, their intent is to have 90% of air travelers pass through these things by the year 2014. Right now, they don't have enough equipment. These things cost about, uh, uh, you know, $300,000 a unit, and they just don't have it in their budget to put them all out there today. So, you know, right now, they can only scan about 10% of the flying public. Their intent is to have 90% of the public going through these things by 2014. They're even talking about installing them in bus stations and train stations. Well, what about yourself? If I mean, if you had to fly and you didn't have a choice, uh, would you take the strip search or would you take the scanner? <laughs> fly. I will not fly. I oh, really? Oh, okay. Uh, I, vote with, I vote with my dollar. I will not fly. I will not submit uh, to being irradiated, and I will not submit to an illegal search, period, end of conversation. I mean, I have Fourth Amendment guarantees that I stand on, and if my intent to fly on an airplane means I have to surrender my rights as an American citizen, the American Airlines can go to hell. Uh, by the way there, uh, Water Liddy, did, did that uh, solve your problem? Uh, I don't think you're uh, getting any echo in there, but... Uh... Oh, um, now, let me see. I was going to say about the scanner. Oh, I was kind of concerned, concerned about that myself. What if, you know, the frequent flyers that have to, you know, do it by airline? You got businessmen, you know, um, CEOs or whatever. They have to, you know, do a lot of traveling. How is that going to affect them with, you know, if they go through the scanner all the time? You know, I, I was kind of concerned about that. Through. Every time they go through one of those damn scanners, uh, you know, the, the, the effect on their... DNA is cumulative. Uh, the uh, the most sensitive parts of the body are the eyes and the uh, uh, and the reproductive organs. Uh, a man's testicles, a, a woman's ovaries are extremely sensitive uh, to these forms of radiation. Uh, the eyes, in particular, uh, cataracts are you know the the, the chance of uh, of cataracts is significant. Uh, if you happen to be susceptible to uh, to skin cancer, I mean, this is a you know a, some some people can lay out in the sun <laughs> all day and all night, and you know no big deal. Others just the slightest bit of exposure to uh, uh, to the sun, uh, you know, they they got skin lesions. Uh, this you know it's genetics. Uh, if you, if you are genetically predisposed uh, to melanomas. Uh, exposure to this type of radiation, uh, you know, uh, could could lead to significant skin cancer risk. Uh, so, you know, they're, they are lying to us. This equipment is untested, unsafe, and, uh, you know, has, has, has no business being used in this manner. Well, actually, I can see, you know, if it's Here, here's the latest. Here's the latest on it. Okay, there, there's some group of Arab terrorists or something that said, "Okay, you guys, we're going to get you now. We're going to surgically implant uh, a bomb inside our our terrorists." You know, well, that's got them all scared. You know, you know what they're working on now? They're working on a virtual cavity search. They've got an even more powerful 
X-ray piece. That is that a catheter or something? Pulling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they've got they've got an even more powerful X-ray that that's going to be able to detect uh, uh, explosives that have been implanted within your body because you know, the the stuff they're using right now the, uh, uh, the 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 power that they're using is uh, not quite enough to penetrate the skin. So it only penetrates down. Uh, uh, it, it only penetrates down a matter of millimeters. Uh, but you know, they, they got another piece of gear, uh, that, you know, if you, if you, uh, shove a bomb up your butt or you have it, you know, uh, surgically implanted in your guts or something, they got a new piece of gizmo that, uh, you know, they're, they're going to roll out soon. They could even see it that way. Don't, don't you feel safer flying now knowing that you're going to get bombarded with more X radiation in uh, you know the short period of time you're you're being investigated at the airport, than most people would see in ten lifetimes. Well, uh, it, that you feel secure. <laughs> well, what if you know you, you mentioned having bombs inside the you know put inside the terrace, which I, I didn't really think about, but um, I mean they could probably use something else alternative instead of using a scanner. They could use something like ultrasound, which is I believe uh, safer. It just uses, you know, of course, it can't be super high ultrasound, you know, but... I wouldn't want my pregnant wife going through an ultrasound. I mean, it, it quite literally gets amniotic fluid bubbling. I mean, you know, there are dangers to ultrasound as well, but it's it's certainly less invasive than millimeter yeah. wavelength uh, yeah. RF or, or, or X-rays. Uh, but, you know, what is wrong with the freaking metal detectors and, and the bomb sniffing stuff that they got now? I mean, they have equipment uh, that can t detect even minute particles of explosives uh using a you know basically a you know a computerized nose if you will uh you know they, they've got magnetometers they they can set up that'll detect any metal objects that you might be trying to to, to get through I, what what's wrong <laughs> with these less invasive techniques uh you know i wouldn't even mind a, you know a, a bomb sniffing dog if they kept it on a leash uh, if they used it to threaten me or intimidate me in any way, though, I'd tell you what, they'd have a fight on their hands. Uh, but, you know, it, it, there there are techniques that could be used that are not nearly as invasive, uh, that don't ignore people's personal liberties. Uh, you know, the, the idea of a virtual strip search or have some idiot commit, uh, you know, sexual harassment on you if those are your only two conditions, uh, if that's your, your only two choices uh, to get on an airplane, I say don't fly. You let let the airplane let the airlines go broke. Well, I'm kind of wondering, you know, now you that know, the airlines get into into tough financial times, if enough people refuse to fly over this, and the airlines get into tough financial situation, keep in mind that airline that airplane terminal is the property of the airlines. Yeah, that's true. You know, they they could. Uh, Cut, you know, cut some of that out. Say, pack your crap up and get out of here. But I'm kind of wondering, too, that, you know, since now, you know, they find explosives in the shoes and the underwear, uh, perhaps maybe that's why they started using some, you know, more into the invasive scanner type uh, technology. Yeah, well, think about it. Okay, uh, we, 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 we've been putting up with this this invasive, these invasive techniques now for what? Uh, I don't know about about a year, eighteen months. You know, it's really been bad for about the last uh, six, eight months. Uh, <laughs> how many terrorists have they stopped? Not a one. No, Not using a, the the scanner stuff. The uh, what they're doing. Yeah, now? Stopped okay. a one. You know, it, it's crap. It's absolute crap. You know, uh, I don't feel any safer. You have a better chance of getting eaten by a shark. Watch out, I'll get eaten by a shark tomorrow. <laughs> okay. You know, this is BS. We are being sold a line of BS. You know what they were telling passengers to do back during the, the late 60s and early 70s when a lot of airplanes were being hijacked to Cuba? Uh, they, they were asking passengers to, to come on the airplanes armed. And that if, you know, if somebody oh, tried wow. to take them that airplane, take them out. That, that's wow I, I haven't heard that before well, see i was flying back in those days a lot of people weren't uh you know uh -huh. I've, I've managed i've managed to live you know the, the history is all circular if, if you wait long enough uh the nehru jacket i wore in 1962 will come back in style uh you know everything everything goes in circles and, and you know this has all been done before you know we we had a, a horrible horrible rash of uh of airplanes uh hijacked uh you know back in the 60s and 70s 
the way they finally solved that one is they put air marshals on the airplane.